In response to the public health emergency surrounding COVID-19, two weeks ago on March 13th, the Elkins Park campus and our clinical facilities closed until further notice. As I announced then, all face-to-face -face didactic instruction moved online, face-to-face -face laboratory instruction was to be conducted virtually where we could do it, where we could do it, and all student instruction at the university's clinical facilities was canceled. Most of our clinical externships have also been canceled or postponed. Although this remains a fluid situation, given the current status of the pandemic, these changes are expected to be in place until the end of the academic semester, which is May 9th. As the situation changes, that date may be rolled back or may be extended. We're going to be watching these conditions very, very carefully. Now, as you all understand, in order to flatten the curve of the pandemic, drastic measures have been taken both nationally and internationally. As you know, more than half of the United States and entire countries like Italy, Spain, the United Kingdom have all been locked down. Collegiate and professional sports seasons have been canceled. Broadway, movie theaters, and music venues have been shuttered. And the Summer Olympics, which were scheduled for July in Japan, have been postponed until 2021. Clearly, we are in the midst of the health crisis of our generation. In the face of this crisis, we announced the decision to hold commencement virtually. This decision was not taken lightly, and we are all extremely disappointed about this. But given the likely duration of the pandemic and the logistics involved in planning commencement, we felt it would be absolutely irresponsible and unrealistic to plan on a face-to-face -face ceremony either on or off campus. So we made and announced the decision that we could plan the virtual ceremony and also to temper your expectations. The virtual ceremony will capture most of the elements of the traditional one. It won't be perfect, but we're gonna do our darndest to make it as close and as meaningful as we possibly can. It will include the president's welcome, elected graduates address, the keynote address, which this year is going to be extremely special because Dr. Tony DiStefano is going to be giving it to us. The presentation of the graduates, including the announcement of each graduate's name, the oath of professionalism, and finally, the Alumni Association congratulations in the end. The broadcast will premiere on our original graduation date, which is Friday, May 22nd, 2020, at 2 p.m. on the Salus University webpage. Prior to the virtual ceremony, all graduates are gonna receive their caps, tams, gowns, and hoods, and also printed programs in the mail. Celebrants will also have the opportunity to share photos and comments real time through social media. As the premiere broadcast, after the premiere broadcast, excuse me, the ceremony will be then archived on our website for future viewing. And finally, any graduate and their guests who wish to do so certainly can attend the fall commencement ceremony scheduled for October 13th. Just like our expectations regarding the campus closure, if the pandemic takes a dramatic turn for the better, which we hope it does, that would afford us any opportunity to hold a face-to-face -face ceremony on May 22nd, I guarantee you we're gonna move heaven and earth to make sure that that happens. Regarding a delayed face-to-face -face commencement over the summer, Unfortunately, logistics really are not going to allow for that. Please know that the welfare of our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and patients is paramount to all of us. I implore everyone to remember while on or off campus to practice the prevention guidelines and practice social and physical distancing and to stay home. I would remind you that all of the restrictions put in place initially still remain in place. This is a public health emergency, so we need to pay attention to what's going on in our surroundings. I also understand that your level of anxiety and also disappointment is high, and you're not alone. But there's no need to panic. We will get through this just fine. At this point in time, we just need to exercise patient and be smart about what we do on a daily basis. Our world has changed dramatically right now, and we need to adapt. 
at least for the duration of this emergency. So be smart, be safe, and stay healthy. If you have any questions, I would ask that you keep the communication lines open. I can either You can either access me directly or work through your programs. Your health and your welfare is my responsibility, and I take that responsibility very seriously. My intention is, you, is for you to all stay informed, for, you all, for all of you to stay safe, and for all of you to stay healthy. As a reminder, all of the information about COVID-19 is updated on our website, and you know how to get to it at salus.edu backslash COVID-19. Also, if any of you feel like you need to speak to a counselor, uh, that we have access to that on the website as well, and I would strongly encourage you to make an appointment and to have a talk with one of them. They're excellent. So in closing, let me just say, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to me. I want you to stay safe. I want you to stay healthy. And I can't wait, just like you, to get back to some semblance of what we would consider normal. Take care.